guys. I was just minding my own business, you know, laying down, just straight chilling. And then I see Joyner just wants to drop a diss against Tory Lanez and, and Trippy Red. I was watching it all unfold yesterday, but I didn't know it was going to come to fruition so quick. So, I can't. Holy shit. <sighs> I was about to enter slumber, and I got awoke. And I was like, you know? Normally I like reacting, but not when I'm like halfway to fucking falling asleep. When I saw the Tory Lanez video, and then I saw Joyner's reply to that saying, let's go bar for bar if you really think that you want this smoke. I seen Tory make a reply video on live, like laughing at him. And I'm like, why are you laughing at him? Like he's gonna destroy you. And then Trippy Red comes on the fucking video. Who in the fuck is this guy to think that he can just come in and talk shit? Like Trippy Red, you're SoundCloud, bro. You don't belong in this fucking category of even talking about at this moment yet. And then I was like, damn, that's that's fucking, this is going to go on for a couple of days. But nah, Joyner comes back 12 hours later with a whole diss track written, recorded, mastered, and published. It takes me 12 hours to make a fucking reaction to these videos, much less make the song that I'm reacting to. I guess we're just going to go in and get right into it so I can get this shit over with because I'm tired. Champagne problems over here, you know what I'm saying? What's up with you R&B niggas trying to turn rappers and trappers? Johnny, Johnny. See? You just stay in your lane, bro. You sound That's what I what I already said. What's up with these what's up with these R&Bs? What's up with these what's up with these people thinking that they could just come and diss? I know Tory goes in, but Joiner's that dude. You know what I'm saying? To rapper to rapper. Yeah. I'm looking down on you when you talk to me. You should grab you a ladder. You mm. see me only jacked in my bladder. Watch you disappear like you abracadabra. Mm. I'm looking down on you when you're talking to me. You should grab you a ladder. I'm above you. I'm at the top. Tory's obviously not at the top. He ain't put out no hits like Joyner's put out in his last like three or four songs. You should grab you a ladder to even get to my level. You took a jab at me, but you only jabbed in the bladder. Your presence in the game is this tall where mine's up here. Your shoulder jab level is my stomach level. And I watch you disappear like abracadabra. Grab me a dagger. You got some hits, but you lacking a swagger. Mm. I'm still the shit, bitch, so that doesn't matter. Don't call me a kid. I'm your pappy and dada. You got some hits, but you lacking the swagger. That's something that I felt about Tory Lanez all the time. Like, he's got the talent to get the hits, but he don't have that X factor. And Tory's always complaining that people from, from Canada... Or have jacked his style. Drake, The Weeknd, you feel like they jacked it, but when really they're the ones that put it on. You get splatted and flattered. You and Trippy better have you some backup. Uh. Brandon Stimpy look at Aggie and Staggin and when I kill him, nigga, matter, matter. Time to get litty. This boy just said that him and him and Trippy look like Ren and Stimpy. Can never be unseen again. One skinny, one fat. Trippy got that weird ass face. Time to get litty, bitch, fuck all that thing. Mm. Challenge me, what the fuck is you thinking? Ooh. Too much weed, what the fuck is you drinking? I'm you challenged me, what the fuck was you thinking? You weren't in your right mind when you thought to do that because you know I'm about to murder. You're not at this man's level. You're good. You're, you're great, but you ain't here. What the fuck was you thinking? Way too much weed. What the fuck was you drinking? He was smoking that blunt in the video when he challenged him, like, not in his right mind. Like, oh, and that Joiner kid, he don't want none. He don't want no smoke. He ain't nowhere near as good as me. Like, why did that even come about? I don't know what the context was, but I don't know how his name got brought into it. But that's really where he fucked up. I brought a tsunami. You bitches is sinking. I'm bringing this tsunami. I'm the new wave. You sinking underneath this wave. Leave all that lyrical shit up to me. I'm a savage that bang. Mm. Bring all your products who's back to Lee Chang. Take all that auto tune back at T-Pain. I swear you are. Leave that lyrical shit up to me. You don't bother with that. That's my, that's my repertoire. That's my lane. You stay in your own lane singing to these bitches. Take all that auto tune back to T-Pain. <sighs> He's always complaining that people jacked his style when really T-Pain was the one that even started that style to begin with back in like 06. You okay, but you ain't nobody famous. Mm. You high, but you ain't nobody major. Mm. Five, three, you ain't nobody dangerous. Maybe that weed you was smoking. You okay, but you ain't nobody's favorite. You all right, but you ain't nobody major. I feel like that's the truth. Like, he's good, but he ain't nobody's favorite. You're not going to go to someone and be like, hey, who's your favorite rapper? And they'd be like... Hey, bitch, Tory Lanez, all day, every day, hands down. Can you not? Can you not do all that, cat? while I'm trying to fucking make a video? Huh? You all right, but you ain't nobody major. Like, that's what I've always felt about Tory Lanez. He's kind of just floating in, the, like, this fame purgatory. He's not in the big leagues with, like, Drake, The Weeknd, J. Cole. He's not up there, but he's also not in the fucking underground 
where he's like an icon of the underground. Do I gotta wait for you to finish? Maybe that way you were smoking had you feeling confident. Let's have a real conversation. Mm. Maybe that doctor put something inside of your head when you got your new hairline replacement. Ooh. Ooh. In the first place, so. It's like that meme, that kid. Maybe that weed you were smoking had you feeling confident. Maybe that doctor put something inside of your head when you got that new hairline replacement. That's such a savage line. How are you gonna come after somebody's hairline? The only person we're allowed to go after is LeBron James on the hairline. That's a low blow, but there ain't no fucking church in the wild. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you ain't fucking with me on my worst day, Tori. Wasn't better than me when I was a first grade, Tori. We mm. can do this every year on your birthday, Tori. Every summer, every winter, every Earth Day, Tori. Every Tuesday, every Thursday, Tori. It's gonna be a motherfucking anniversary, Tori. You done fucked up, now you need first day, Tori. I'm that's just fire. Why you even bringing up my name in the first place, Tori? That's what I'm saying. You ain't fucking with me on my worst day. I'm still two steps ahead of you on my worst day. Wasn't better than me when I was in the first grade. That's an important line because he keeps on calling him kid. That kid joiner throughout the video, the video that he made on IG. And he's saying you wasn't even better than me when I was a kid in the first grade. We can do this every year on your birthday, every summer, every winter, on Earth Day, every Tuesday, every Thursday. It's gonna be a motherfucking anniversary. You done fucked up. Now you need first aid. That rhyme scheme, that pattern, very Eminem like. You done fucked up. Now you need first aid. Tori, I'm the leader of the new school with a screw loose. Mm. All you niggas blue clues with a fruit juice. Mm. Jimmy Jimmy Choo shoes and a fubu. Nigga, you do what you can. I do what I choose to. I get litty in this bitch for my. I'm the leader of the new school with a screw loose. That's funny because he's kind of like Eminem's prodigy. And Eminem was seen as the leader of the new school with a screw loose back in the 2000s. And he says, all you are, all you are blues clues with a fruit juice. Y'all just little kids to me. I'm sunning y'all. By the way, who else gets fucking annoyed when Nicki Minaj says sunning y'all in like every verse on every track she's ever recorded? Like, we get it. We get it. You're sunning people. You do what you can, I do what I choose to. You take every offer you can get while I'm turning down shit and able to do what I choose to because my popularity is at that level where you're just kind of hoping for scraps. I'm pushing away a buffet. Only few real niggas left, they many. They can pay me the M, they can pay you the Iggy. Mm. They can pay me the meth, they can pay you the Gizzy. Mm. I'm the Vinci, I paint a picture with color. I already got cake and I don't need a butler. We already got Drake and we don't need another. Ooh. I don't really got space, but I'ma eat your supper. You know, Jonah, Boy, he says they compare me to M, which they do. They compare you to Iggy. So they're comparing Joyner to a goat while they're comparing Tori to like one of the laughing stocks of rap in the last couple of years, Iggy Azalea. Like, like she's just leeching off the culture. People might say that that's what I'm doing, but fuck y'all. And then he says they compare me to Meth, as in Method Man, and they compare you to Dizzy, who hasn't done shit in the rap game in the last couple of years, while Method Man is an icon. He's an icon living. Saw the record level misfits just did it. Whoa, nine long cover five minutes. Whoa, we are too hot in the- Then he says, we already got a Drake. We don't need another. You're saying Drake copied you, but in everybody else's eyes, you're copying Drake at this point because Drake's the one that put that style on. It ain't about who did it first. It's about who did it right. I don't really got space, but I'm going to eat your supper. Like on full, this brings it back to his verse on lucky you. Lucky you that I'm at this table. Like get the fuck up out my way. I'ma lick the plate, my stomach may be full, but I'm still gonna eat your shit. I'ma do what Travis should have done a while ago. I'ma do what Drake should have done a while ago. Tory had both those dudes' names in his mouth. Him and Travis Scott, he even talks about the beef that they had at the Mala Luna at on one of his tracks. And Mala Luna's here in San Antonio. What what? And he's saying that they squashed the beef because there was music that they could be making. Joyner saying, fuck that. We ain't squashing no beef. I don't need to make no music with you. I'm should. I, I'm going to do what Travis should have done. Uh, go back in the booth, make another love song. Mm. What you going to do when the fucking blood's gone? Because I wanted all the smoke. I ain't even puff long. Nigga, I'm... Go back in the booth, make another love song. Stay in your lane in that love bullshit. Keep the real rap to me. Keep the real rap to us in this lane. Like when the blunt's gone and you come to your senses, come down from being high and realize what you started, what the fuck are you going to do? Gonna come down from the high, and they be like, oh shit, you're saying that I challenge, you're saying that I challenged Joyner? That was my B. I thought I was just joking. I thought we were just having a couple, couple gaffes, couple goofs, couple laughs. Nah, we're not, and you done fucked up. Cause I'm the one that wanted all the smoke, and I ain't even puff long. Mm. Nigga, I been packing a black Mac with a wrap in a backpack, with a stack in a Mad Max, in the back of the black pack, with a cat in a snapback, put a cap in your backpack, murder you when you whack, little cat in a hat, back to the stabbing you jack back, and a clap at you 
mad fast when you sing, you ain't half bad, but you rapping like grass cats. And I bet that you mad sad because you about to get laughed at and buried in trash bags and left in a hatchback. My Ooh. Family, in the He's got the flow. He's got the speed. He's got the delivery. He's got the rhyme scheme. He's got the syllable patterns. All of that very similar to Eminem. And no one can touch Eminem when it comes to technical rap. I'm packing a black Mac with it wrapped in a backpack with a stack and I'm Mad Max in the back of a black cab. He's ready for war. He's got that shit strapped to him. He's got it in his backpack ready to go. With a gat and a snap back, put a cap in your back fat. I'll put a round right through your back. Murder you and your whack little cat in the hat back. Finna stab if you jab back. I clap at you mad fast. When you sing, you ain't half bad, but you rap like a ras cast. When you ain't sing, you ain't half bad. So stay in that lane. That's your shit. Like, I, I can admit that you ain't really, you kind of hot when you singing, but when you rapping, Get out my fucking way. And I bet that you mad sad because you about to get laughed back and buried in trash bags or left in a hatchback. He's about to get laughed at because he brought this shit upon himself and the whole internet is going to be like, Tori, why did you go and request that L and buried in trash bags or left in a hatchback? He's about to kill him. Mm. Come out and play, you my prey, you the goat, I'm the dinosaur. That's like a reference to Jurassic Park when the goat is just chilling there waiting to be eaten by the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I remember when them hoes called me old news, now when they cheat, I'm the go-to. Mm. Word on the streets, I want to get close to, I was hopeless, now I'm hopeful. Mm. I done made my own way like I'm supposed to, all you niggas did what you was told to. Mm. So like, I remember when them hoes called me old news. Like, back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all on me. Mike Jones, who? I done made my own way like I'm supposed to. All you did was do what you were told to. He's making his own lane. The only lane that Tory made was his last name. I came up with that shit right now. That should have been in the fucking joiner. If you want to use that for future disses, feel free to, bruh. Just give me the cred, tell people to like and subscribe. Mm. Yeah, Tori, why all your songs always sound like a rerun, nigga? I just want my motherfucking refund, nigga. Mm. I'm funny looking ass, go and eat some, nigga. I ain't never had to get my fucking teeth done, nigga. When Ooh. I kill you, I ain't running to you, bleed some, nigga. Oh, you wanna be some, nigga? Me and 6 9 had trippy red bitch on the couch. She was giving us three some, nigga. Woo! Hey, my name up in the first place, Tori. You ain't fucking with me on worst day. Tori, you better than me when I was a... You hear that shit? Did you hear that shit? Huh? Huh? Why are you always songs sound like a rerun? And it's true, in my personal opinion, a lot of Tory Lane songs sound the same. They have the same, they have the same topic, same melodic, same you know auto tune, high pitched auto tune style. He says, "I just want my motherfucking refund." Like he's taking that as like a line from Eminem's song off of Marshall Mathers LP, where he's talking about Britney Spears. Give me back my fifteen dollars for the album that he bought. Like he just wants his refund for that bullshit that he just listened to. I ain't never had to get my teeth done. He's just making fun of his whole appearance. The hair replacement, the teeth replacement. He's saying he ain't never had to do none of that. He could be the ugliest dude alive, but people are still gonna like him because the bars is there. And he says, me and 6 9 had trippy red bitch on the couch. She was giving us a threesome. He just basically did what Eminem did in Kill Shot to Diddy. Like the song is not about him, but he dragged his ass into it and murdered him with like one or two lines. And then Diddy was just like, what the fuck? What did I do to deserve that? You, Trippy, allowed yourself to be in the beef by commenting on the IG Live. So you're going to get some of this smoke too. All right, and the rest is just the chorus again and the song's over. But damn, he went in. I got to listen. If Tory Lane's already put out a track, I got to check it out. I, I don't even know if he did or not. But this right here is my swag. This is a good start. It, he put the song out in 12 hours. And then Trippy, just take the L, bro. Just... Just don't even try. Like, who even are you? You're SoundCloud rap. And the worst thing about Trippy being in the beef is that he just got, he just took this fat ass L and his fans ain't even gonna know because his fans aren't smart enough in terms of hip hop lyricism and IQ to know that he took the L. L. And I hope y'all guys like this video because this is my second time recording it because I sat through 15 minutes of video recording, didn't even hit the fucking record button. That's on me though. I took that L. But if y'all liked it, like it, share it, hit the notification bell, subscribe, all that shit. See y'all guys on the next video, Rap God Breakdown. Peace.